Hello, so welcome to this video for Comp 3218, Game Design and Development at the University of Southampton. My name is Dave Millard, I'm one of the lecturers on the course, and I'm here with... Uh, Juan Marino, I'm one of the demonstrators. So myself and Jonah are going to be doing a, a, a let's play of some of the, the courseworks that the students have handed in. Uh, this first coursework, the brief was to create a game with a strong core dynamic uh, with a tutorial element. Um, otherwise, they were quite free as to what they could do. So I'm looking forward to seeing what, what they have. Okay, so for our first game, um, I'm not entirely sure whether this actually has a name. They wrote Cole and Jason on their form, but that's basically their names. So this is the Cole and Jason game. Um, all right, we've got a, a nice menu screen. Yeah, very nice. Uh, okay, so what's under options? Ah, volume. I'm, Can you hear anything now? Or? I can't hear anything. So there's no music or anything. So perhaps it's just a. Uh, um, yeah, perhaps it's just a uh, uh, sound effects or something in the game. Let's find out. I'll turn them down. Uh, let's go in and play. Ah, a local man has spotted a terrifying creature lurking around an old graveyard close by, causing chaos through the village. Complete your training and attempt to defeat the creature with a mix of super weapons and magical potions. Best of luck. And a little loading oh. bar. So that's kind of interesting. Um, here we yeah. go. Ah, choose your weapon. So I have an axe of rage, a wand of fire, or a sword of life. Hmm. Uh, damage 10, defense 20. Yes, okay, so we've got some different stats, different super moves. What do you reckon? Should I go for the wand of fire? I don't really know what to, what the difference is at the minute. Press 2 and then Y to choose this. Ah, okay. okay. Press U to pick up item. There you go. I have picked up the item. And was to move around. Oh yeah, look, if you look in the top left, I've got the try keys and it's ticking them off. Ah, yeah, yeah. Find your brother in the kitchen. Oh, there he is. Yeah, looks similar. Brother, greetings. So how do I get... So the keys don't do anything. How did you talk with him? Uh, he did just spoke. Place? No, he just spoke ah. when I got near. So he's still talking Maybe. now. Oh, go and meet the village leader. So I don't know how I progress that. Probably there's some way of doing it. Where is the village leader? Oh, I just pressed space and it swiped from the wand. Uh, I will go and meet the village leader. All right, let's do that. Uh, oh, there's nothing down here. So that's odd because this little corridor made me think that that was the way out. But I also saw a, ah, a door there. Ah, yeah. Okay. Press I to check your inventory. Here you will find your weapons and potions. So I've got equipment and inventory at the top left. Oh. Ah, okay. So I have to press I to make that appear. So that's a bit odd ah, okay. that it said press I to make it appear, and then it appeared anyway. ZXC is for choosing equipment, and L is to unequip. And 1 to 6 for choosing items. Okay. Oh, it did tell me to do something then, but I didn't notice what it said. Can I, go, can I go back in? It doesn't look like it, maybe. So there's a potion. Can I pick up the potion? No. So oh, what was the... You. And what does Z, oh. X, and C do? I choose equipment. Yeah, so... Oh, so Z actually brings up the options menu. That's weird. So I can't pick anything up. Ah, who's that? Village leader. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to find. This is good. So I wonder if I can find a U. No. Oh, press Q for quests. Q. Oh. And I've got to click with the mouse. So you've got battle practice. You've got investigate the woods. Prove yourself. I don't know what this means. Oh, it is accepting or declining. It looks like it. So let's do that one. Don't die. <laughs> oh, Commander. Let's get some practice. So you progresses the... I still don't know what makes the thing progress. 
Uh, Enter, down, click. This doesn't seem to do anything. But he's gone now. Maybe it's automatic. Don't die. Against who? Uh, hmm. Try to go to the right, I think. I'm, Didn't, uh... I'm wondering... Ah, there, so they're there. Ah. Okay, the button. Uh, I, I, I think the commander went to the right and you were supposed to follow him, maybe. But... It just said, don't die. I'm wondering whether we've got some bugs here. There might be a problem with the X, the XE version. Maybe. Try, yeah, try, try going to the right uh, on the path. Maybe. Uh, just a very long path to nowhere. Yeah, that looks like. Uh... But I can't. Am I taking damage? I don't seem to have any health either. You notice that? Ah, oh, uh, you died. died. Ah. Okay. Ooh. Let's get some practice. I think this is buggy. Okay, so what we've done is we've loaded this game back up in the browser, uh, sorry, in the Unity editor rather, um, to see whether that gives us any different experience. So let's let's find out. It seems to be working. We've got that choose your weapon screen come up. So uh, maybe this time we'll try the, the axe and see if we get any further with that. So press U to pick up the item. That's all working. We know where our brother is because we met him last time. Greetings. <laughs> so, oh, so space swipes the axe. I can't, I still cannot figure out. Try. Did you try pressing E? Pressing maybe. what? Sorry. E. E. Oh, uh -oh. well, maybe go and meet the village elder. What uh, do you think? Or is it just timed? Do you think? Maybe I don't know. It's got it's got this bit down the bottom here. Zero zero, zero zero with the little arrows, but. Yeah. Okay. So we still can't pick these up, I don't think. Nope. So village leader. Here you will find your quests. Good luck. Press Q for Ah, oh, that's a timer, so press Q for quests. First Should steps. we try one of the Well let's give let's give this a go, see if it works in here, so Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, go with the commander. Don't die. So there's the commander. Let's get some practice. Okay. How do we do that? E. Oh no. E. Yeah. E does the job. Ah, he ran off. So I follow him this time. He's going a bit fast for us. <laughs> Here we are. Ah, okay. So, space is to attack. Go and kill the beetle. Ah, so so that we did we did do the right thing last time then. Oh, I can't. Oh. I think they might have a problem here. Oh. Ah, oh, oh, I oh. did it. Training is complete. Good luck with the remaining quests. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> okay, so I wonder if I can... Oh, hang on, I'm getting lost. That's a very long road. Yeah. I really could do with some health or something, but I can't pick anything up. I shows my inventory. Not got anything there. Okay, let's do the next quest. Your first quest. You've got potential. Trouble in the woods. Why don't you sort it? Travel to the portal south of the village centre to begin quest two. So, uh, uh, oh, okay. Is it the thing in the middle? Oh, it is. Ah. Is it me or did it, did we just change scales? <laughs> um, a bit, maybe. Because the portal was smaller when I, when I when I got into it. It's like the amazing shrinking portal. It's like Alice <laughs> in Wonderland. 
Um, okay, so what do I have to do? Investigate. Okay, I recognise this tile set. <laughs> ah, yeah. Um, okay. Ah, there's, there's a creature there. How do I get down there? Is it through? Oh, oh dear. That's not great, is it? So there is a path that leads down to this wall, but there's no way you have to get right down here before you see that you can come through. Mm, that's, yeah. that's that's not that's not good. Let's have a oh, some sort of chest. Do you think I can interact with the chest? Nope. Do you think I should go and try and kill the beetle? Um. Run away! I I've got absolutely like I'm not sure what the cooldown is on my axe, but it's not. I think it's yeah, it's quite slow. I think. And I've got no way of seeing what the cooldown is. Ah, uh, yeah. And I'm not sure. Ah, I did it. If I'm facing, oh, I can. Yeah. So it's very sticky. You press the space bar, and and not much happens. Um. Uh. I think I can. Oh, I can move that. That's exciting. Uh. <laughs> Uh, problem is I don't know whether there's any. Ah, there's a door there. There's a chest in the way. A door. Can I get through the door? No. Ah, there's a path through here. The perspective isn't helping, is it? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, think up there. No, nope, I can't go up the stairs. So that's blocked off. Doesn't look like it's blocked off. And that's blocked, huh, that's so. blocked off right there as well, so that's actually a dead end. Oh, perhaps it, actually perhaps it wasn't because I got stuck there as well. No, no it was just me sticking. Yeah, despite the perspective, the the box for that I have to go down the bottom. Do you see? Ah, uh, so, so my head yeah. is getting stopped. Yeah, so. Which is a bit strange, which is sort of inconsistent with some of the rest of the space. Let's go over here. What did I have to do in here? Do you remember? Uh, explore some noises or something. Can I go up there? Oh, I can go up that one. But I couldn't go down. Right, so I'm on the. I isn't there a bug I saw up here earlier on? Yeah. So the actual box for hitting the thing is very strange as well. It's not. Oh. Oh. Completed quest two. So I've got to find my way out now. Oh god. This way. All right. So. Let's go back up here, I think. Yeah. And, and then... up back to the enormous portal. Let's see if the portal changes shots. Yeah, look. There we go. That's that's quite that's quite a strange disconcerting effect. Rescue for quests. Prove yourself. You may just be ready. Good luck. Oh. Travel to the portal south of village centre to begin quest three. Centre. So the Wait. Same one. Isn't it? Is it the same one? Sort of the village center. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We're here again. What do I have to do now? Is it the same place? So I'm not entirely sure when we played the XE whether it was broken or whether it was just I wasn't quite sure what I was doing. I'm still not mm. entirely sure what I'm doing, if I'm honest. Oh, there's a door there. Did I go through there? So it didn't didn't tell me to do anything, did it? It just said go through the portal. Yeah. Is that what I'm exploring? Is there anything in the game notes that kind of explains Oh Oh There's a thing. Oh Crikey. Well it certainly looks fearsome. 
I wonder what the different weapons actually do as well. To try out a different weapon. So I appear to not be able to hit this thing. I also appear not, not to be stroking my axe even though I'm hitting the... So I think there might be a... Because I've got no health at the moment. I don't know if you've noticed that in the top left hand corner. Yeah. I'm wondering whether the sword thing should be a cooldown as well. So I know when I can use my weapon, but it's not working either. So I think I'm actually perfectly safe. I don't think it can kill me at the moment. <laughs> uh, but you cannot kill it as well, I think. Yeah, it looks that way. Um, yeah, is there anything in the game notes about kind of bits they got working or didn't get working? or? Mm, making the boss fight harder. Uh, in which potions and attack potions would be necessary and be part of the game. Um, I don't think so. Okay. All right. Well, should we start going through the um, the marks? Mark. Yeah. And what I will do is I will just stop this. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, oop, wrong one. I'm gonna just play it again. Play it from the beginning. Let's see what. See what we. Remind ourselves about things like the tutorial elements. Okay, so what was the um, what's the first so criteria? Presentation. The, yeah, presentation, which consists of information design, graphics, and audio. Okay. Um, so the graphics, um, I mean, they are consistent. Um, there's there's that odd thing where you go through the portal and it zooms in more than it should do for some reason. Um, but I think the graphics are kind of it's interesting every time I press space that little bar fills up but it doesn't do anything else um, yeah so the, I think the graphics are consistent they, they kind of look look okay um, I wouldn't say that they're kind of that there's a few times where it's a bit odd that big skeleton at the end didn't look right it was it was way too pixely it was at the wrong scale basically yeah um, and there's some but you no, know, generally speaking, it's you know what what would satisfactory be for the graphics? Uh, just consistent graphics. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's consistent. And it kind of mostly consistent anyway. Um, audio. Um, as far as I can tell, there is no audio. There's no sound effects. There's no music. There's nothing going on. I I can't remember was if there was when we played the XE, but. We'll, we'll we'll check that before we uh, we put the marks in, but let's uh, let's assume that this is right for the moment. So, uh, what would no audio be? Uh, almost no audio is uh, absent. Yeah, so I think I think it has to be absent. Um. Uh, yeah. Okay. So the last one would be information design. Ooh. Let's try. Um, don't die. That cut does work. So the information design. So so it's a bit difficult because a lot of the stuff isn't working properly, but things like the the uh, speech stuff at the bottom, right? The fact that it's on a timer, but they seem to give you prompts as if you can move it onwards. That's very strange. Um, they give you the you give you your health up in the top left hand corner, but it starts. I think it started empty. And I've got no way of knowing what that is. The the sword thing was also empty, and every time I swipe my sword, it fills up. I'm guessing it's supposed to be either some kind of cooldown or some kind of thing for a special weapon or something, but they didn't implement it. Um, the the quest stuff is quite nice, and the selector at the beginning where you can pick your weapon, um, that kind of works. So there are a few elements that work, but but a lot of the time it's 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 really not telling you what's going on. So what would what would a, a pass be? Say a pass is uh, some attempt at information design. And what would a uh, what would uh, the one below that be? Uh, information design is not sufficient. And below that, that would that would be a poor, right? So what would be? Uh, uh, Wait, uh, so a poor would be information design is not sufficient. Yeah. Pass is some attempt at information design. And absent is no serious attempt at information design. So I think I think they've made an attempt at it. Um, 
So it's probably probably a poor, do you think? Information design is not sufficient. Well, pass is some attempt. So I think they've got they've got some attempt, but it's not working. And they've got a yeah. few bits that are working. So I, I think probably the that poor, I think. Because that's clearly mm. that's clearly the bit of the game that they haven't finished. They haven't got that kind of logic working, I think. So I'm just having to explore around to see what else is going on. Okay, yeah. Um, so next uh, criteria would be meaningful play, uh, which contains mechanics, controls, and bugs. Yeah. So so I can play it just about. Um, it, it, it's 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 quite difficult. I wouldn't say that I'm kind of engaged in it exactly, but I can interact with it. Um, so if we look at the mechanics, what have we got going on? We've got uh, you've got selecting a weapon, which has different properties. You've got attacking. Um, Supposedly, you, you can pick up items. Yeah, I think we just have to say that isn't working, right? So yeah. I, I clearly can't pick anything up. So I think the the inventory system. Uh, I mean, if I press Z, it just brings up the menu. So they haven't implemented it. So so they intended to put that in, but it, it's not there. So you've got attacking, you've got um, you've got the conversation timer, and the quest, and the little quest dialogue here, uh, sort of quest system, um, which isn't a huge amount, um, but something. So what would what would satisfactory be? A set of consistent mechanics. I don't know if I count this as a, a full set of mechanics. Mm, what what yeah. would what what would a pass be? A set of inconsistent mechanics. Um, mm, that's interesting. So that means a set. Of, and what would a what would a a pull be? A few mechanics. Yeah. So so this is this is essentially down to how many mechanics are they implemented and do they fit together? Um, mm, yeah. And they haven't. I mean, they've got they've got things like the they've got a few they've got like the portal I suppose they've got the conversation they've got attacking um, yeah mm. so what was uh, what was the satisfactory again uh, satisfactory is a set of consistent mechanics yeah and the one below that are the parts. Mm -hmm. Is inconsistent mechanics. So I, so I, so the problem I think is that I don't think the mechanics are inconsistent, but there's not that many of them. Yeah. So maybe it's maybe it's halfway between a kind of a poor and a pass. Yeah, maybe. What, what do you think? So if I can attack him. <laughs> uh, well, a few mechanics. I mean, yeah, that that sounds mostly fair, I think. Um, there's just not there's just not much here, but but the, what is here is it's okay, and it works. They work together. Yeah. So next one is controls. Yeah. Uh, moving around's okay, although the the um, collision stuff is a bit strange. So like there, for example, I'm standing on top of the. The monument. Oh. Um, my head seems to bang on the bottom of buildings, um, uh, but some of the walls I seem to be able to. Yeah, so that wall I stop against, but then that wall earlier on I could go into. So, so the movement's a bit a bit inconsistent, but it's it's okay. The the problem is this attack. So if I press, you can probably hit the space bar going. So. So that's the there's a sort of delay there, uh, and then I pressed it again, nothing happened. Attack. So attack. 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 So what happens is yeah. every uh, what it is is it looks to me. I, I don't know. Not so basically every time I press spacebar, sometimes it attacks and sometimes it doesn't. So press, press. So there, it's attacking every time. Press again, nothing happened. Yeah, it's odd. 
uh, may, maybe there's, I mean, it looks like there is a cooldown of some kind. There's either a cooldown or they're running the animation in a in a in a script or something, and it's not responding. I don't know. Uh, some, something's happening. Um, yeah. So there's something odd going on there. So I, I so, so what would a pass be for uh, for controls? A few or challenging controls. Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, so that so I can move up and down. I can swipe. Um, I do have these other controls, don't I? I've got the quest thing. So they tell me to. Can I get? I can't get through the portal now. Didn't I activate the quest? Press Q for quests. I think it's might have, might have broken it again now. So um, yeah, I think there are a few controls, and I think they are challenging. So what would a what would a that was a pass, wasn't it? So what would a portal? Yeah. Uh, limited or difficult controls. I uh, again, it seems a little bit harsh given that you've got the the interact. You've got a number of different interactions going on, so maybe halfway between the two. Yeah, yeah, sounds. There are a few, but but they're 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 difficult. They don't always work. Yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, what about bugs? Yeah, okay. So I think we've got... So this is a game-breaking bug I think we've discovered here. Right, where I can't activate... Oh, hang on, what's that? Was, don't die. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to restart this, because I think... So we, we've definitely encountered some bugs, right? We've got... Um, uh, let's go for the, the wand this time. Um... Yeah, we've definitely got some bugs. So we've got uh, some problems like the enemies clipping through walls, the portal didn't work. Um, we've got things like the the, the 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 man you have to follow that looks exactly like you. Um, uh, he yeah, when off. you died, yeah, you know when you died, there was like yeah. an infinite. So I I think what we have here is frequent minor bugs and infrequent major bugs. So I don't know where that lies on the spectrum. So a pass would be game is simple or there are serious bugs and satisfactory is game is reasonably complex but there are minor bugs. Yeah, so what, what would be a poor? Yeah, poor would be game is very simple or serious bugs make it almost unplayable. Oh, no, it's better than that, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so I think it's probably a pass. Yeah, that, that's what uh, I think it is serious there are a few serious books yeah quest uh, locked quest locked oh that's interesting so they didn't let me do that quest it said quest locked oh that's interesting quest locked okay that's, that's nice that's a nice bit of logic I'd rather it told me in here rather than let me choose it but don't die and also that quest locked is now start at the top there that's another minor bug um, mm. Okay, so that was bugs. So let's move on to goals, risks, and rewards. Oh uh, yeah. So it, it it does okay with goals. It kind of it talks me through what I need to do to talk to my brother, talk to the leader, execute the quests. That's it's all fairly clear. Um, risks and rewards. Do what choices do I have here? I can't choose the order of the quests. I've got a choice of different weapon. Although it's not clear to me, basically, as far as I can tell, they're not fundamentally any different, right? In that, so we didn't mention the information design, by the way. I, I do quite like the floating um, health bar and the little blood splats. That's quite nice, actually. Um, oh, I died. Oh, I can die. Very well, but it resets me. Oh, here's another bug. So it's just constantly sending yeah, back yeah. this bloke. Yeah. Come on then. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Nope. Okay. I'm in a. I'm in a kind of groundhog second. <laughs> 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 that would be frustrating. Um, all right. I'll stop. So um, yeah. So what are the risks and rewards? Can you think of any? Uh, uh So the weapon, I guess we said. Super move. 
Oh, it's got again. Do they execute that? I don't know. Create a tornado projectile that explodes on hit. So what is? How do you execute them? I wonder if they implemented it or not. Yeah, I didn't seem like it. Yeah. See, see if they had, that would give you some risk and reward because it's like, okay, do I execute my super weapon now, and that has a big cooldown, or do I hold it, or you know? But as it is, there's very few. The potions are just led around, so I can't like decide to go and fight a monster and get an upgrade or something. You know, there's those are the kind of things that you'd normally have in this kind of um, uh, RPG style game. Yeah, the game. Yeah. So, so what would a what would pass be for for goals, risks, and rewards? Uh, well, pass would be a limited set of goals, risks, and rewards. I'm gonna. What happens if I? Don't take the sword. A limited set. Okay. And what would a what would a poor be? Uh, incoherent or very limited set. Yeah, I think it's very limited, isn't it? I've got kind of the basic mechanical choices, and that's it. I've got no no other agency in this. I'm just walking through a a predetermined kind of. Well, it's not just that the story's linear. It's that the my my choices for how to solve the problems, I don't have any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So I think it's I think it's probably poor. Pacing. So here it's a bit better, I think, because um, you start off with this little quest to kill the bug. So you've got one bug, and then you go and explore the ruins, and you've got two bugs, and then they send you back into the ruins. And uh, this guy's doing the moonwalk. <laughs> um, and you face the big skeleton. So now you can't kill the big skeleton, but you know, let's assume that the intention was you could. Um, so, so I think they, they, they're actually the pacing's not too bad. Um, what would a satisfactory be? Uh, satisfactory for pacing is tension clearly rises over time. Uh, yeah, I think they've achieved that. I think they've done right. Yeah. Um, yeah we... um, and then let's pause here because the next question is the tutorial element. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. I think this is the only tutorial piece, isn't it? So there's a text there. Press one, then Y to choose this, and you've got the WAS keys at the top. That's it. I think. Mm -hmm. um, so if I go in here, oh, we've got to press U to pick up item. So, so they've got the mechanics to give you interaction prompts. They've also got the find your brother in the kitchen. They've got that kind of stuff at the top. Um, so there's a little bit of tutorial element, but it doesn't. It's quite front loaded. And the problem yeah. is there's there's not enough mechanics to introduce to to kind of spread it out over time, is there? In a sense, I mean, the fighting itself can also be, like the first quest, can kind of be counted as a tutorial. Yeah, okay, that's a good point. So what would satisfactory be? Uh, satisfactory is gradual explanation of gameplay and controls somewhat aligned with play. And what would a pass be? A gradual explanation of gameplay and controls revealed as you play. Um, so, so it's it's the aligned with play bit, right? So it's it, the difference is they tell you stuff over time, that's a pass. They tell you stuff over time, but it's aligned with what you're doing in the game. Yeah, is a satisfactory. Um, so I think that. It's difficult because there's obviously there's there's bits in the game that they haven't finished implementing, and therefore, you know, you, you feel like they need to be told about them, but there's nothing to tell you because they're not working, as it were. So, mm, yeah. so what we've actually got, we've got the fighting. And they do tell you about that. This guy tells you about you know press space. You know, you've got the the direction through the level. You've got the so there. I think I think it is, it is probably. There's bits of it that are at the satisfactory level. Um, mm, and some just, are 
and it's just that there's um, so well, I don't know. You've got this. You, know, you get was at the beginning at the. It's all told to you as you need it, isn't it? Um, yeah, press Q for quest. So I I think what's putting us off is that because it's all a bit sort of janky, right? It kind of makes it hard to see. But actually, you've got you've got the, the you're told what to do at every stage. You've got the quest thing at the top. You've got the buttons at the top. You're introduced to the monsters one by one. I think it's probably satisfactory. Hmm. Yeah. Got your explanation. Somewhat aligned with play. Yeah. Sounds somewhat aligned with play. Kind of. You know, it's not perfect, but they they. You know, you get you know. So you, yeah. You, you, I suppose if it was you know maybe if you got your weapon before you went into the combat, um, if. You know, I, I think the problem is, is what we're actually looking for, is is something like you know, you you were given the weapon before you went into combat, and then in combat, the you had to learn how to use the different types of attack, right? So, you know, if there was a bit in here where there was this is melee combat, and maybe there was a, a cage, so I couldn't get through this wall, but over to the right hand side here, you know, there was something I had to use mm -hmm. my ranged weapon to attack it, right? That would be that would be fully aligned with play, right? Um, yeah, yeah. So okay, so yeah, I think I think satisfactory is uh, is reasonable for what they've got. Um, and then we're on to their core dynamic. So what did they uh -huh. what did they say? Uh, so they say our game possesses an exploration, collecting, and adventure feature, which the user gets to explore the maps while fighting monsters, collect the equipment to make the user more powerful. Yeah. Increasing the feel and aesthetics of the game. Our mechanics also contribute towards what makes this game fun, such as adding super moves, attack bar, and health bar. Uh, ultimately, we have added more features for the user to explore, such, a, such as the implementation of inventory and making the boss fight yeah. harder, in which potions and yeah. attacks would be necessary. And that, that's so, it. Okay, so but what they've actually said is that it's what? Exploring? Is that what uh, they said is their core dynamic? Our game possesses exploration, collecting, and adventure feature. Right. So, okay. So, I'm not sure what they mean by adventure, but, but they've got exploration and collecting. Um, so, there isn't any collecting, because it doesn't work. There is... Is there some exploring? I don't know. I mean, the, I think, what again, one of the uh, problems is it's a bit of a mishmash, isn't it? Um mm. Mm, yeah, uh, in in a sense, I guess the second and third quest are go there and explore the ruins. Yes, but you're not. But there's also destruction because you've got to kill the creatures, which which would be fine if it was in. I suppose you know, is it in service of the exploration? Um, do you get rewards for explore? I don't know. Not because so you get the quests. It all feels a little bit like it. It's. It it feels to me that what they've what they've perhaps done is taken elements of games they've seen and combined them. So, yeah. So it depends, you know. You get sort of, you know, is it so action RPGs? So things like Diablo, they're they're destruction, right? You know, you're you're basically destroying stuff and um, more narrative RPGs. They they kind of have a dramatic narrative. That's that's the purpose of playing. They're story driven. Um, you do get ones that kind of mix it up, and there's a kind of exploration element. But then you'd be, you know, meeting meeting people, collecting things, you know, learning lore, kind of all those kind of things. Perhaps, perhaps you'd be uh, like in Pokemon, collecting um, different Pokemon for your Pokedex, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. So what what would a what would a so it feels to me like there's different things here pulling in different directions, um, and if anything, yeah, it, based on what they've got implemented, it sounds it feels almost a, it's a bit more like a destruction game, but it, mm, it, it is just yeah. a mixture. What what would a so, what would a satisfactory be? Satisfactory is a clear core dynamic that is partially supported by the primary mechanics. So I. Don't think that's there. What about a pass? Mm. Uh, a pass would be an attempt at a core dynamic, but not well supported by the primary mechanics. 
So I think that's probably where they are, right? If, if they've gone for an exploration, um, the, the mechanics are all about kind of destruction and they've not... The only thing that rewards you for their exploration is the completion of the quest. But that's not when you've explored the full area, that's when you've destroyed all the enemies, right? And there's no, there's no feedback yeah. to show what you've explored and what you haven't. You know, there's no kind of fog of war or anything like that in those exploration areas. So I think probably a pass. Yeah, sounds great. Yeah. Uh, so the next one would be the feedback. Okay. Uh, so the feedback we received at the end of the lab was that we were essentially quite lost with where we were going with the game, okay. as we had no clear concrete goal. The feedback was to identify a solid core dynamic and then proceed with it in mind. So that's exactly what we were just saying, right? So, um, what do they do? Uh, that's so. Oh, okay. So they haven't said what they did. Um, what would a pass be for feedback? Uh, pass is feedback was addressed, but the changes have had limited success. What would a what would a poor be? Uh, feedback was not addressed well, uh, although some other positive changes have been made. And what would a uh, Absolutely, yeah. Uh, feedback was not reported or addressed. There is, there is no serious attempt to make changes. So they have a, they have reported their feedback. So it's not absent. Um, but but Paul says that they've attempted to make changes. And as far as I can tell, they they haven't or they haven't reported that they have. So I think yeah, that's the thing. So I think it's halfway between absent and poor. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they they did say the feedback. They said what the feedback was, which was exactly the comments. Yeah, and uh, and then didn't say what yeah. was done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, back in back in Groundhog second. Um, <laughs> so I I think what's happened here is that they've they've been really ambitious as to what they've tried to put together, um, and actually. This is more the sort of game we'd expect for the second course. Second, which yeah, is, yeah. As a narrative element, um, and I think it's just been too much. There's been too many elements they've tried to put together. Um, so some of it's quite nice, you know. I mean, the the, the scale of it's nice. The, the all the different mechanics, the ones you know, there's, uh, um, well, I said the mechanics, the different ways of interacting with the with the game. You know, you've got the got the quest thing. You've got the the dialogue they've got going on so they've, they've got they've tried to get stuff going um once they have a lot of mechanics when you add in all the ones they didn't succeed with right so like the the potions and the cooldown and the super weapon and the inventory and the, you know all that kind of stuff um so i think perhaps should have kept it simpler and they'd have been able to actually finish off properly what they were doing and it had more impact um as it is it looks like it's a good basis for a game but obviously not complete Okay, so let's have a look at our second game, which is called Amazing Catastrophe. Amaze in Catastrophe. I think I see hmm. what they've done there. Um, <laughs> right. Yeah. Let's play the tutorial. Ah! So, Waz to arrow to move, I or escape for options, and E or space to interact with books. So, if I press space. Ah, hey friend, most of this book is a weird language, but there is a small passage you can read. I am the one leaving the messages on the ground. I'm sure I'll have a few questions. We should focus on getting you out. Follow the blocks and doors and look for a praying statue. I'll leave, try to leave more messages. And I... Oh, I just move off the book to get rid of it. Okay. Mm, okay. All right, so press E to interact with levers. I'm guessing that's what they mean. It doesn't, doesn't look like a lever, but it does move the block. And that one moves that block. Oh, what's that say? Yeah. Most of these books seem to be directions and orders. I translated bits that I think were important. Can't translate the names very well, so I'll call everyone Duncan. Okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> uh, all right. That's another. So so far it's easy enough. I kind of toggle the. Okay. So yeah. What, what happens if I stand in the way? Nothing. They just instantly move. Yeah. Okay. okay. Here we go. Oh, there's lots of options here. 
Some levers you've connected only move their blocks one way. I don't know how you achieve this, but can you please unachieve this before more of your colleagues get stuck down here? All right, so there's some, what does that do? Does that move that one? Ah, uh, oh. so that's, that gets stuck, I guess. The red yeah. one. But okay, but what, what was the consequence of it? I, I think it's just to show you, hey, this gets stuck. Okay, but is there is it all the red ones? Do you think that get stuck, or just that one? Uh, I think that you, you can try to do one of those at any lever. So that doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, so the red didn't move. That great. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. So that toggles the blue and the grey one. That only moves the grey back, I think. The the middle one. Ah, uh, try the, the right one. Yeah. And then the... Do I need the... Uh. Right, hang on. <laughs> so uh, I think the middle one only moves the grey one back when the grey one is on the right. Those two move... Ah. ah, so uh, do me though now. So that toggles. So that one toggles the grey and the blue one. Yeah, so if the grey was on. Try again uh, the right one. Yeah. Uh, and then do the grey, uh, the middle one. So that'd be the red. Ah, and, then, then, and then the right one. Hey, there you go. Yeah, it's. Okay. Oh, there's a cat there. Do you think that opens the trap door? Uh, probably. Okay, so that's nice. So we get a little preview. Do you think you're going to fall? I do. Let's close it. And that opens the door. Okay, so, so far it kind of makes sense. Right. <clears throat> Safety warning. Uh, I don't care if I you, I don't care they can't. If those things touch you, you could get seriously hurt. Well, let's find out. I mean, the information design on I'm, them, it already looks like they are, you know, baddies and yes. probably going to kill you. <laughs> so I have to sneak past these two, presumably. In here. So that would open the... the ah, so that opens the door on the right. Door. Okay. So that's quite nice because I can see that. Um, okay, wait for the... Yeah, I think the perspectives are... For one cycle. I'm finding the perspective a bit strange because, like, I can go right up to this part of the wall, but it makes sense. Um, okay. What's now you can choose. Really? Well, this seems cruel. Ah, if you kill them now. Yeah, uh. Why not? Let's do it. And then up here. And what does that do? Ah, that toggles the bridge. Yeah. You're reading this. You're doing good. Uh. When we bypass them with means, it will become apparent once we meet. So I can't offer hints. We can, okay. It's very. Yeah, okay. I'm not entirely sure what that whole narration thing adds, but we'll find out, I guess. Ah, what do you think that does? So. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's doing anything, or maybe it did something later on, but you have to go back. Maybe. Aha. Yeah. Oh, maybe it does this one of these horrible puzzles again. Uh, yeah, try to... Is there another one up here? There is. Uh, so that... So I can't... So what we got? We've got... I can't fall off that, by the way. That's, uh... That's good, yeah. So that toggles those. What's that? I can't see what that does. Does that just put the red? Oh. Yeah, so that's the middle ones. And this will be the outer ones. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Looks like it. So if I can... Oh no, the, it's, it's the outer ones I need to do. Yeah. There we go. Right. That wasn't too bad. 
Awesome. Oh. So probably the previous, the previous, yeah. the switch you opened is this. But I can just do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I hope you reach this point. I hope you've met Chester the friendly rat. <laughs> it feels to me like I don't know whether there was a whole exciting narrative they wanted to add to this, and we're just getting like little snippets of it or what. But it's quite surreal. Chester isn't here. I was pulling your leg. <laughs> Except if you didn't open the pit, we didn't read the first message. Yeah, I'm a bit lost. That's the whole chest uh, thing. Oh, and there we go. I, I think the rat, if you didn't open the pit, the rat would be there. So do you think the pit was that w little lever on the side? Yeah, yeah, uh, the one before the bridge. That I shouldn't have. So I presume I could just... All right, shall we, um, while I'm going going through this again, shall we start through the, through the mask yeah. scheme? So, yeah, so the first one is presentation. So that's sort of information design, graphics and music. So I don't think you can hear the audio, but there's there's a nice little bit of music going on in the background. Uh, when I move the levers, the, the stone blocks, they slide around with a kind of satisfying crunching noise. So all of that stuff seems to work. Um, is this the okay, lever? So oh, no, that was the that was the, that was that one, yeah. Broken one. Um uh, so, yeah, what would you say it's complementary audio effects and music? Yeah, I think I think they're pretty good, really. So, I mean, what would what would good be for? Yeah, so good good would be complementary audio effects and music. Yeah. Think... Uh, while excellent would be appealing effects and music. I mean, they're they're not enormously sophisticated, but I think they're they're certainly at the good level. Um. And the, the the graphics they're quite they're nice and consistent. They kind of maybe those cubes are a bit blocky, but they're kind of I think it works. Yeah, uh, I think everything fits rather nicely. Uh, and so a good would be consistent and effective graphics. Uh, I think it's. I think it's definitely there. What would by, what would excellent be? Uh, consistent, effective, and appealing graphics. So I don't. I don't know whether I class them as as particularly appealing. They kind of work. They. I quite like the little cats, but I think probably at the good level. Hmm. Yeah. And information design. I mean, what's going on here for information design? We've got. There's nothing on the screen in terms of giving me feedback about things, um, but we've got feedback in terms of the uh, the levers flash. I think when I activate them. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, there's not a lot of other information to convey. I guess um, it's all sort of done within the game world, isn't it? So yeah, so that yeah. that 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 flickers when I activate it. And that's about the only element. Um, I mean, if you were going to add information design here, what could they be telling us that they're not, I suppose? Or what should they be telling us that they're not? Mm. Yeah. The... I'm not sure, actually. It's a... Uh... So... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's no linkage of, of what levers do what, so you, you could argue that that's a problem, or you could argue that's part of the puzzle design. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I mean, they are kind of color-coded, at least it looks like they are. So what do the colors mean? So it looks like yeah. those open pits, the blue ones so rotate that... bridges. So that's the one we don't want to touch, right? Yeah. Okay, so that there is a bit of information design there. Then. So if, they, if if that's consistent and the red ones move the blocks, right? Yeah, I think it's consistent. All right, let's see if we can see Chester. See Chester. Ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. But can I get past them? No. Do you think I can sneak past them down the bottom? <laughs> uh, you can try, yeah. At, at least it spawns you ah. not at the beginning of the level. 
So what I'm wondering is I've pressed that twice, right? Yeah, if they've fallen. They have. Yeah, it looks like. But there's still okay, nothing, so... there's still no nothing here. <laughs> so I still don't have a clue what the hell trust of the friendly rat is. <laughs> okay. So um okay. Yeah, so okay, so so I think the the graphics and audio are definitely at the good level. The information design um, I mean, there's definitely some here then. So the levers are corresponding to different types of tasks. Um, yeah. We kind of mm. indicated the enemies have some indication, but there's just not that much to feed back on, I guess. Mm. So what what would be satisfactory for information design? So satisfactory is most key information is shown. Yeah. And good would be? Oh, key information is shown. So the problem here is that there's very little key information, right? Um, mm. uh, so we've got, because we've got no kind of, there's no lives, there's no... Um, so it, I, I think it is true that the key information is shown, but there just isn't very much to report. Mm. Yeah, I see. Which is, which is tricky. Yeah. Oops. Um, so, I mean, it might be that we say, look, you know, there could be some more feedback. So, if you, if you had lives, you could feedback. If you could, there's no indication of how far you are through the the map, for example. Um, uh. There's, uh, mm, yeah. So you're kind of you're you're missing some where, how well you're doing, I guess. So. Although it feels like none of that key information is there, I think they, they could be giving you prompts that which, which they haven't. So, I mean, maybe for key information, it's kind of more at the satisfactory level. Hmm, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, the next category, or sub-criteria, I mean, is meaningful play which talks about the mechanics, controls, and bugs. So, in terms of bugs, I don't think I've spotted any bugs, and I think it's a relatively complex game. So that's at least at the... the, the probably, Good level. I think it might even be excellent level, actually. Yeah, yeah, game is reasonably complex, and there are no obvious bugs. Ah, okay, yeah. So I think, I think that will... I think that's appropriate. Um, Controls. The controls are pretty smooth, so it it definitely feels like it's doing what I say. I kind of I'm interacting stuff like the the, the interaction with these levers. There's a fairly big zone around the lever that I can access, so that's all good. Um, so yeah. So what would good be for controls? A uh, reasonable set of smooth, usable controls. So that's definitely there. And what what would excellent yeah, be? Uh, excellent is reasonable set of intuitive and smooth usable controls. So, so I think maybe the problem here is to do with the the, the extent, because I can all I can do is go up and down and activate things. So yeah, I, there's yeah. not an awful lot in terms of control that I can do. So I think probably for this one that will be at a good level as well. Yeah, it, it sounds like it. Um, and what about mechanics? So what have we got? We've got the levers, um, which activate the pits, or move blocks, or open doors, or do bridges. Yeah. You've got the enemies, which you have to avoid. And can kill you. And um, you have to, you can and a, kill them as well. And, and the books. So that's a you know it's not a huge number of things you can do, but that's a reasonable set. What would what would good be? Uh, good is a set of complementary mechanics. And what would excellent be? A white set of complementary mechanics, and yeah. I don't think it's there necessarily. I think you're right. I think it's uh, it's at the good level. <laughs> I like the little effect of uh... Uh, falling. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So I think at the good level. So Ooh. the next criteria is fulfilling the brief in which the two sub criteria is our level design and tutorial. Right. 
so let's start with level design, I guess, uh, which uh, we have ghost risk rewards and pacing. So, so in terms of pacing, because that's probably the easy one. Yeah. I, I don't. They, I mean, they they introduce some of the concepts as you go, but I'm not convinced it gets necessarily harder as you progress. It feels quite, quite a flat experience. If that makes sense. Oh. I see. I mean. Is there any way you could argue that it gets more challenging? I, sp I suppose you get more elements. So here I've got I've got the bridge yeah. and the blocks. Yeah, I and the cards as well. Yeah. Okay. So this is a, a sort of a more difficult puzzle. Um. So what what would and, good, what would good be? Uh, yeah. Because? So good is clear and coherent set of goals, risks, and rewards. And for pacing. Uh, for pacing, ah, yeah, uh, tension rises over time in a coherent pattern. And um, what would what would satisfactory be for pacing? Uh, tension clearly rises over time, which I I think at least yeah that's the that's true. So the question is, let's have a look. So as I go through here, so I get. A I mean, in fairness, that was opening a door. This is. So this is all the same stuff, right? And then they, and then they yeah, it sounds very simple. And then they introduce the blocks that don't don't go back, although they're the, quite difficult to distinguish. Then I get so I I mean I think they they have introduced, despite what I said, they have uh, they have introduced the mechanics in a sensible way. Um, so probably right, we've got the. Yeah, so we saw the pit before, didn't we? And now we... Oh no, this is the... Yeah, they're introducing us to the pit here, aren't they? And then we get yeah. a door. Yeah, so I, I actually think that there is a... It's probably at the good level, actually. Because they're introducing it all sensibly, one at a time. I saw an enemy. You've got a more complex enemy now that I need to yeah, get past. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's good. Um, and... The goal is... Goals, and rewards. Do we have clear and coherent ones? So, what is my goal? So, uh, uh, yeah, I guess the goal would be to just continue onwards until, I guess, the end. But there's nothing. There's nothing that sort of. There's nothing to to measure my success. So. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not kind of collecting points. I don't. Get any kind of collectibles. I don't have a time limit, um, so you know, I is one one through of this better than another one through? You know, so the this is the risks and rewards thing, right? So, are there risks that I'm supposed to take for particular rewards? Uh. And as far as I can see, there's there's only one way through this, which you have to do every single time. Ah, uh, yeah. Can you think of any variation? I mean, the only variation would be the place where you have the two cuts. And you can choose going to up kill and them down or not. Left. Yeah, exactly. But that I don't think that influences... Well, let's find out. So, I think every single time I've done this, <laughs> I've murdered the cats. So let's not murder the cats and see. Um... But yeah. yeah. So I I think so I think the risks and rewards here is a bit of a problem. Um, what what would satisfactory be? Uh, satisfactory is coherent set of goals, risks, and rewards. Um. I don't know if there are a coherent set of goals, risks, and rewards. Hmm. I still come got this puzzle. I just press them randomly until I get through. <laughs> Try the middle one and then the left, the <laughs> left one or right one. <laughs> <laughs> Other left. Right. What do we reckon? So. <clears throat> so that one just brings the red one back. That one says. The... Yeah, both. So the middle one brings the top one back. 
So, yeah, do right, middle right. Hang on. Right, middle. Right. So, uh, from the beginning, so right, middle, right, and I think that should. Maybe. Ah, yeah, now do middle and then do right. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll do the right one now, yeah? There we go. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think I, I I don't even think they're quite there for that. What would what would be um pass, pass for, for goals, risks and rewards? So a limited set of goals, risks and rewards. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to close it off. Um <laughs> So uh... it's difficult. What are my so I've I've definitely got goals. I, I kind of I'm trying to get to the end, that makes sense. Yeah, but the yeah the risk things is problematic. Um, like I've got no guess. choice here, right? I have to. So like this is sort of what I mean. If, if going up here was optional, this would be a risk, right? But it isn't optional because I have because uh, I have to go up here to open the door. So I yeah, don't, so I don't have in a choice. this case, the only option is to not yeah. kill them. Right. So let's let's try not killing the cats and see what happens. So I also won't press that one. Um, yeah, so, so what did you say pass was, sorry? Uh, pass is just a limited set of goals, risks and awards. And what would be below that? Uh, that, that would be incoherent or very limited set of goals, risks and awards. So, I, I think that what we're looking at here is a very limited set of risks and rewards. But I wouldn't say they're incoherent, and I, and I don't, and I have a goal, so perhaps halfway between the two. Mm, yeah, maybe. So yeah, I, I think that that's that makes sense. Right. So I tried, I tried not killing the cats. And it didn't do anything. The previous ones, yeah. Yeah, so I think, yeah, as far as I can tell, the same thing happens. Um, okay, so the next bit, I think, is the... Tutorial. Uh, tutorial. So so we've got WAS controls basically written on the background. Um, and I think they're, they're introduced they're introduced at the right, right kind of time. So, you know, here's the thing telling me to interact with levers... Um, then I get the thing with the blocks that only move one way. So I think they've they've definitely made an attempt, like this one here. They've sort of scattered scattered the tutorial elements through the level. They kind of progress gradually. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Um, definitely. Uh, go. Um, so what would uh, what would good be for this? Uh, could would be gradual explanation of gameplay and controls fully aligned with play. So, I oh, <laughs> keep doing that. <laughs> um, I think they're there, aren't they? They kind of they introduce the things gradually. It's aligned with play, so they all appear as they occur in the tutorial. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, what's beyond that? What would excellent be? Uh, excellent would be. Gradual explanation of gameplay and controls fully aligned with play and sometimes communicated through level design. I don't think they do that. Hmm. What, what would be uh, if it was communicated through level design? So, I mean, so I suppose the closest they come to it is where they show me that by opening the door, the cats fall in, right? So that's kind of communicated to me to a certain extent. Yeah, yeah. But communicating through design would be, um, you know, for example, I walk into a room and there's a cat on a path and the cat falls into a hole, right? And then I have to close the hole. But then I get to another place and I can open the hole to get another cat to fall in. You know, it's, it's, it's teaching me through demonstrating the effects of the world. Yeah, um, I, I I think that's about the only time they do it. So so for me, I think it's probably at the good level. Yeah, sounds right. 
Okay, uh, so that takes us on to design, I guess. Yeah, and the uh, core dynamic. So what did they say their core dynamic was? Uh, so they say core dynamic is spatial reasoning. What do you think? Um, I, sus I suspect they're, they're right, but there's not that much spatial reasoning going on, is there? Mm. You've got this kind of interaction with the blocks. Um, can I go back? Um, so, I mean, what are the elements? There's no collection here, so that's that's not there. There's no timer, so there's no sort of survival sense. You do have enemy cats. Mm. Right? Yeah. Um, so, I, you know... I can destroy the cats, um, but that's not. So I think I think spatial. I mean, I guess it's, you know it has some elements of exploration, but it's one way. So, so I think it probably is spatial reasoning, but it's just there's not an awful lot of spatial reasoning going on, right? Yeah. So they say uh, the player is expected to be mindful of the layout of the room and the way different parts of the room move, and they give a list of mechanics that support. Uh, should I list them so you can? Uh, no, it's okay. I think we kind of got that. So yeah, yeah. Um, so what would what would good be for the core dynamic? core dynamic? So good would be a clear core dynamic that is supported by the primary mechanics. So there's definitely so the mechanics definitely support the dynamic you know with the puzzles and you have to think where the bridge should be yes and all that yeah uh, but the way you were talking about the core dynamic i don't know if it's clear or at least so what what would it so what would satisfactory be Satisfactory would be a clear core dynamic that is partially supported by the primary mechanics. Yeah, so... So for me it's to do with the sparseness of it. So there's just... So, you know, the, the dynamics are to flick the levers and move the blocks. And that's that's kind of it. But, but it is supporting the, the core dynamic. Um, so the satisfactory one says what well, they're partially supported or yeah just partially supported yeah so i think it's definitely it's definitely satisfactory so the question for me is whether there is an, there is enough in terms of the mechanics to you know there are enough mechanics and i just not sure that there are hmm. so i i'm i think maybe it, it comes down to the satisfactory yeah, I guess when you say it like that. It... Oh, still can't do this. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, okay. The um, last part. Yep. If we are we done with the core dynamic? I think so. So, what's what's what's, yeah. what's the what's the feedback? So the feedback. So, <clears throat> feedback number one. Add more complex puzzles once we had figured out how all the mechanics as the game, paces were, game space was a bit slow. Many mechanics were introduced without actually providing the player with puzzles for them. I guess that was before. Right. Uh, and the response to that is, we added a slightly more complex puzzle after introducing enough mechanics or a single very important mechanic. So, uh, and, they, uh, and the se second feedback is the stakes should increase, which means that each section intended to be a puzzle should be slightly more complex than the previous one. Yeah. And the response was the, that this was added as written above. So, I mean, they haven't really explained exactly what they did, but I think the principle is right. So, so we said that it definitely gets more complex as they go along um, in terms of the puzzles. Um, yeah, and the combination of yeah. all the... So what was what was satisfactory for feedback? 
satisfactory uh, feedback was addressed and the changes have been made somewhat successful. Yeah. So I think I think the first that second set of changes um, have worked, and the first lot they said were about um, about the complexity and the way that many mechanics were introduced without actually mm. providing puzzles. Yeah. Previously. I mean, I think they have done that, um, and it has has worked. So. So yeah. So what what would what would good be? Good would be the same. So feedback has been addressed, but the changes are successful. Have been successful. So it's it's a question of do we think they've been partially successful or fully successful? Yeah. Um, so in terms of building up the puzzles, um, I think they've been successful in that. They kind of build them up one by one, and they introduce each one individually, and it kind of works for me. I think. So yeah, I, I, think... I I think I'd go for good for that. Yeah, uh, I agree. Okay. Um, right. Well, yeah, I mean, a, a, a very playable little game. It's good. Um, shall we move on to the next one? Uh, yeah. Okay, so our next game is either called The Temple of Montezuma or The Temple of Interhep, depending on how you uh, pick it. Ah, the audio is pretty loud there, so uh, it's going to drown us out. So I'm just going to pop back and change the mix okay there we go right so here we are um, so I've got I've got some thumping music going on which I'm not entirely sure fits the whole temple exploration thing but there we go. <laughs> okay um, so oh yeah Arrow, arrows. arrow keys to move all right it's fine I'm doing that and there's a key in a lock, and it looks like I can't get through there until I get the key, I would guess. Alright, yeah. that's good. So, I'm... Ah, ah, okay. So, so I played this in the expo. It's one of those, so each time I move, they move. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. So, when I was setting up for this Let's Play, I had this running and my kids came in and played it. They loved this game. And I think and I think it's because it lets you stop at every stage and see what you're doing. So the things mm. that kids aren't very good at, which is quick reactions and stuff, it, it really worked for them. So Ah, okay. So I've avoided the frogs and now I've got snakes. Okay. Ah, so that snake's gonna get me. Ah. So it, uh. it, it died on the on the spikes. So that's quite nice. It's got a little. So I wonder if I can lure this other one. I can. Yeah. And now I can get the key and get on. It's good. Oh, okay. Now it's a bit. Oh, a bit more hairy. But okay, I'm there. <laughs> And now I've got to get the key from the middle. So I think oh. um, I wasn't clear initially what the what the black frogs what was going on, but apparently in testing it was so you could tell the difference between the frogs that go up and down and the frogs that go left and right. Yeah, yeah, which I guess makes sort of sense. Uh, I mean, uh, if you, I think on the next level. Uh, the next level was the thing that uh, suggested that change oh, because oh. a lot of uh, frogs mix and you don't know what the the next step would be because two similar frogs one goes up and one goes down so they changed the colors oh. to... I'm, I'm being too smart here <laughs> uh, I'm thinking if my seven year old can do it I can do it um... right there we go yeah, I, I think that makes sense actually. It kind of, it it does really help. And it, yeah, it definitely helps later on when you get to this level, the more complex puzzle here, oh for God. example. Yeah. Right, so I've killed those things.
Uh, okay, there we go. Ah, so I get a, a closed screen and it tells me each room. Ah, and, and it uh, tells me the optimal moves and my moves. Uh, <laughs> wrong, look at room five. <laughs> optimal yeah. move is 85. And, ah, moves. wait. I, I think, yeah, optimal moves was the, like the par in golf. So it's Got the... You. Got you. Yeah, I, I noticed before that uh, that that's possible. So, um, yeah, okay. So it's a shame it doesn't give you a kind of an overall score for your run. I think that would be quite nice. But otherwise, that's pretty playable. So I don't know. Can I go? Can I play again, or do I have to kill it? So it looks probably like there's no way to to go back. Well, let's let's um, while I'm reloading it, let's start going through the. Um, the scheme criteria yeah so we should start with presentation which contains information design graphics and audio so there's there's audio effects when i pick stuff up there's music um i wouldn't say it's enormously thematic um uh -huh. so okay. if i remember rightly that's kind of the difference between good and excellent right uh, good and excellent appealing. Uh, well, the difference is appealing effects. So, yeah. so, uh, so I, I think. I mean, it, I, I think it's probably good for audio for that reason. I think kind of it, 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 it could have been more, more kind of thematic. Um, and the but the graphics are probably the same for the graphics as well. They're they're nice. They're consistent. It makes sense. They've got this kind of whole pixel art thing going on. Um, I mean, there's a slight difference in style between, say, the, your character and the frogs, for example. And the key is a bit big and blocky. <laughs> yeah. um, and the padlock. But, you know, it kind of works. Um, so presumably I just, yeah, I just get killed if I do that. So, oops, I wonder if I can get past there without, no, it's just going to zoom in on me. Uh -huh. <clears throat> yeah, so you have to... I can't. I just can't get past it. I don't think. Yeah, I've got got to layer it onto the things. Um, yeah, so I would say graphics and audio both at, at that kind of that level. Um, good. Good. Yeah. Um, information design. Hmm. So there's something a bit odd here. Like, so these spikes over here have got gore on them. So yeah. that. So I suppose you could argue that that indicates that they're dangerous. Um, or at least that you get tufts of your beard caught on them. <laughs> it's the same uh, colour. Um, uh, but, yeah. but it's almost a shame that they don't do that after they've got something lured onto them. I don't know. Kind of like why only those spikes? Because presumably uh, I could lure them onto the other spikes if I had to. Um, um, interesting. I, I think so that's, that's a bit odd. I mean, the way that they've set up this level specifically, the top spike is always going to be hit by a snake. Yes. And in a sense, it kind of, you know, you see the bird and you see the snake coming to you and you think, oh, it, you know, you connect those things yeah. in your mind. And... Yeah. Uh, so, yes, I, I suppose it kind of, in, perhaps it indicates that you should do something special with it, right? That's your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Um. So the frogs we already talked about, and I think that works well, that the different colours go in different directions. Um, and the fact that the key and the padlock are kind of, they look visually similar, they're the same colour, I think that, that works. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. So I think there's definitely some decent information design going on. Um, what would good be? Uh, good would be all key information is shown. Um, so there is some information I'm not being shown, right? Particularly when I get uh, here. The moves, yeah. So I'm not getting any moves. I'm not being given the optimal moves on the on the screen. So it's not clear to me how well I'm doing during play, only at the end. Um, yeah, so yeah, that might be a. What would what would satisfactory be? Most key information is shown. Yeah, I think I think maybe it's it's there. Yeah, it's interesting because when you start playing the game, you 
don't think about the moves and then at the end it's like oh yes. by the way we kept score of that and here's yeah. your score yeah so okay yeah so i think probably satisfactory for for that um yeah and then meaningful play what mechanics have we got we've got obviously moving about we've got the keys and the padlocks we've got the vertical frogs and the horizontal frogs We've got the snakes, snakes and the spikes. So there's a reasonable amount going on. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all. But yeah, yeah, I think it's quite a, um, a wide set, maybe. At least there's quite it's a, a few a decent things. Set, that, it? Yeah, yeah. So again, what would what would good be? Uh, good would be a set of complementary mechanics. Yeah, I think there's definitely a set of complementary mechanics. And what would excellent be? Uh, excellent is a wide set. So yeah, a notch up. I'm not sure if it counts as wide. I think you've got you know there's reason that going on, but oh, in by a frog. Um, yeah, it feels to me. Yeah, they, they've got they've got so they've got some interaction, right? So, for example, the snakes interact with the with the spikes. Um, it might be nice if there was a little bit more interaction or or different elements. So, you know, different keys to get to different exits, for example. Some uh, hearts, some yeah. Um, so you know, there's yeah. It feels like they yeah. So so I I would say probably good. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you know a very odd game, Chips Chips Challenge. No, and it's not very present. similar to this. Uh, it's one of those old dots games, I think, and yeah. it's uh, a game with a thousand levels or a very <laughs> like it's so big, and it's uh, you know similar style with you move, and it's puzzles and all that. So yeah, it's it's definitely. They have a wide set of mechanics, while this is a bit less. And yeah, yeah they have the padlock with the different keys and all that. Okay. So yeah, fair enough. Hmm. All right. Um, uh, next one is the controls. How do they feel? So the, I mean, again, it's quite simple because all I can do is move. Um, but it's snappy. It kind of it it, it feels like it's um. That that kind of staccato animation works really well and and gives you a, so it gives you a lot of feeling of control, um, mm. but I wouldn't say there's an awful lot of controls. Um, so what what would satisfactory be? A satisfactory is a reasonable set of usable controls. So I think well, it's a reasonable reasonable set is the question. What would uh, what would a pass be? Uh, game is simple. Oh wait, no. Uh, so a pass would be few or challenging controls. So I think the problem is here we have few controls, right? Um, all I can do is move up and down and left and right. Mm, yeah. So, but I wouldn't say they're challenging. So maybe maybe halfway between a pass and satisfactory. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. I, I'm wondering how, what would have to be done for the game to be, for the controls to be a bit better. A reasonable set, for example. It's a good question. Um, so it's it's down to the to the to the. So I, I suppose your argument would be, if the game is based on purely moving around, right? Then, and the timing isn't an issue. Then the controls are as good as they could be. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's like, um, yeah, I mean, you, you have a point um, because anything that you added in that would that would add in additional would need additional controls might be mechanics that would spoil the the feeling of the game, right? So shooting, for example, or using an item, or those kind of things. Um, so maybe dropping a bomb. Yeah, I, I I think probably things like item use, right? Would yeah. probably, you know, or, or uh, 
something that kind of would give you another way of interacting with a space other than just moving. So I think they're yeah. suffering here just from the simplicity of their design, right? Um, uh, you know, so... <sighs> yeah, I, I see, yeah. Um, what was satisfactory again? A satisfactory was a reasonable set of usable controls. And pass was? A uh, few or challenging controls. Yeah, I, I think we've got to give them between the two. I think they've got yeah, few, few yeah. controls. They're not challenging, they're fine, but there's just not not that much uh, that, you're, that you're interacting with. Um, yeah, okay. Makes sense now that you said. So the last one is bugs. And I don't think I've seen any... No. I, I think it looks pretty good to me. So, I mean, that's that's up at the excellent range, isn't it? Uh, so, excellent would be, yeah, game is reasonably complex and there are no obvious bugs. Yeah. So, despite the fact the controls are fairly simple, the game itself has got a reasonable amount going on. You know, the frogs all moving, uh, the snakes following you. So, I think it's reasonably complex. So, I think I think we can, we can say it's up at the excellent for that. Uh, yeah. I think that's, uh, yeah, that's good. So, uh, I mean, excellent. Uh, so the next one would be fulfilling the brief uh, and uh, more specifically level design, uh, more specifically goals, risk, rewards, and pacing. So think about goals, risks, and rewards. I kind of know what my goal is. My goal is to progress. Um, yeah. At the end, I learned I had a second goal, which is to do it with the fewest possible moves. Um, just got them down here a bit and see if we can clock up some some extra moves. Um, so, so that kind of goal is quite clear. Risks and rewards, though. What are the risks that I can choose to take? What are the rewards that mm. I get for taking them? Yeah, I think... Mm. There's definitely the risks of choosing. I mean, is there any? You you do have to think about the moves you make and how you you want to risk. Do you want to be as close to the frogs as possible and risk uh, miscalculating or not? But so, the example of that would be this level here we're looking at, right? So we've got a symmetrical level. So yeah. so what that means is that the two roots around the thing in the middle. Are identical so that's no choice right yeah exactly if it wasn't symmetrical I I could be making a choice to go to the top or the bottom but I'd need to have some incentive for going down the harder route right so you could either make that that there's different types of threat down there that I might be more comfortable with dealing with so for example you know maybe there's snakes at the top and there's frogs at the bottom right and I can choose the type a threat that I want, or in other words, choosing the type of risk, or I might have a reward. So, if this was a game where I could um, collect something, or I could, um, you know, if we're counting the number of moves, maybe I could get a minus ten moves counter or something, right? Which yeah, which, yeah. which I could cash in at the end, but it's in the more difficult half of the screen, right? So those are the kind of goals and risks and rewards that you could you could, you could have in here. Um, but because the goal isn't, I mean, the goal's there, but it's not really made clear until the end. Um, mm, yeah. And there, there really aren't, there are risks here, you know, risks you have to overcome, but there's no choice, there's no reward for choosing in different kind of ways. Um, so I, I, I think this is one where they perhaps haven't done quite so well. So what, what would satisfactory be? Uh, so satisfactory is a coherent set of goals, risks, and rewards. And what would pass be? A limited set of goals, risks, and rewards. And what would um, poor be? Uh, let me see. Uh, incoherent or very limited set. Yeah. So so I so I I don't think the goals are incoherent. They're just not presented enormously well. But there's a very there is a limited set of risks and rewards once you get into the game itself, right? Ah, you go, 247 moves. Um, 
So I'm I'm wondering whether it's it's sort of certainly down at the um, maybe uh, uh, at the pass level. It might even mm. be slightly lower, like halfway to poor. What do you reckon? Mm. Yeah, I wonder because there's. The, the thing with the risks, for example, uh, yeah, the points you made are correct, and I just wonder if there's as well some risk in the way you choose to uh, move around the level itself. Uh, like, like, for example, you know, okay, the frog is going to move up and down, yeah, and I can predict where the next move is. And you, if you risk it, and you, and you think to yourself, okay, I'm very good at this prediction thing. I will be as close to the frog as possible to minimize my moves. Yeah. So once uh, once you got that in there, you, you're right. Yeah, there's like a risk of do I want to be as close to the frog as possible, or you know, try to predict the enemies more. Yeah, or or stay well clear and, and have worse moves. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So that said, that that probably means we there the uh, the higher of those two things. That's so probably the pass then. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, so the next, the next, yeah, facing. So I think this is better because. It, it clearly gets more complex as you go through. There's more and more elements to deal with. Um, so what what would a good be for pacing? Uh, tension rises over time in a coherent pattern. I think it does. I think you kind yeah. of you get more and more challenging puzzles, yeah. Puzzles as you go through. Uh. Kind of make you think a bit more every time. Yeah, I Ooh. think it's definitely, yeah, the tension definitely rises uh, coherently. Yeah. So it's at that level. Uh, the next one would be, yeah. let's see. Oh, so tension rises over time in a coherent and well-balanced pattern would be excellent. I mean, there's elements of that, isn't there? Um just in terms of the the complexity so you know this level for example the final level not only do you have all the elements but you have the frogs overlap right which gives you like yeah. here for example so in this state i've got kind of overlapping frogs and it's so i think they've done a pretty reasonable job actually of um yeah so so i think that there's an argument here that they're at least good Maybe, maybe even excellent for pacing. Yeah. So perhaps, perhaps we'll put them up at the ex in, excellent in level. Um, well, oh. put put them at the excellent level because I think, I think looking at this final level, it it does clearly bring together everything all in one one place, and gives you a kind of a, you know a big challenge right at the end. Um, so I think they've done a, a good yeah. job there. Yeah. yeah. Um, and next is the tutorial, right? Uh, yeah. So it starts very simple, but the information design really helps it with. Yeah. Uh, so we've got we've got the arrows on the floor telling us what to do. Uh, this is blocked off until I get the key. So yeah. that, that that's all really good. Um, and then here, as soon as I move, I can sort of see what's going on. Uh, there isn't anything to tell me that frogs are bad, but it's a fairly obvious conclusion I think yeah um, and if you move to the right without doing anything is it going to get you anyway and you'll see yes so if you just try and go straight through and and here this is a really nice little demonstration right so I either I, I can't I can't do anything but lure the snake onto the spike yeah so, exactly so, so I think they've done a good job with the tutorial parts actually so what would good be uh, good would be gradual explanation of gameplay and controls fully aligned with play. I think that's true. 
Um, what about excellent? Uh, so excellent would be the same, but uh, the controls and gameplay would be fully fully aligned with play and sometimes communicated through level design. So I think they they achieve that because you've got the things like the snakes coming in, right? So yeah, so yeah. so that's that's so I think that's an excellent. Uh, so, yeah. it, it, so what do they think their core dynamic was? Uh, let me see. So, core dynamic uh, prediction. Oh, well, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, and that's uh, so they say the temple of uh, Inhotep or uh, the Montezuma <laughs> creates yeah. a prediction based experience for the user by having all the individual mechanics tailored to giving the user as much information as possible. To make their next move. Yeah. Uh, static gameplay enemies only move when the player moves means the user has as much time to plan and predict the enemies. Uh, when new mechanics are introduced through the rooms, the user is made to learn their behavior when they are first introduced in relatively low pressure yep. situations. Uh, and the reward system under the predictive model will be based on moves taken per room. The user will be encouraged to replay and beat their own score to see if they can improve the move count. Uh, yeah. yeah, and the recommended number of moves is given at the end. Uh, and that's the that's all they're saying. So, prediction's an interesting one. Um, I yeah. Mean, I, I, I mean, it's certainly got that it's, I mean, it's subtly different than spatial reasoning, um, but it's certainly got that uh, that puzzle element to it. I think the yeah. fact the fact that you pause between moves makes a big difference to the way in which the game feels, because it, it no longer feels like I'm trying to escape or trying to uh, you know um, defeat these these you know the frogs and the snakes. Although I can kill the snakes. Um, it, it makes it feel more like I'm thinking through the puzzle, trying to get past. So there is a destruction element with the snakes, and there's a, a collection element with the key, but all in service mm, yeah. to to their kind of key kind of puzzle tone. So I think, yeah, what, what, what would good be? Uh, good would be a clear core, core dynamic that is supported by the primary mechanics. So I think it achieves that, doesn't it? it? I mean, yeah, to me it looks like it does. And what would excellent be? A clear core dynamic that is supported by an integrated set of mechanics. How well integrated are they? Well, I mean, the only thing I can think of is the sort of... Um, you could argue the snakes and the spikes. Um, you know, bringing in that, that kind of element, possibly. But, yeah, I don't know if it's particularly well integrated, but it it's certainly... Uh, yeah, it's certainly good. Certainly at the good level. On the good level. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Let's well, done it again. So... Um, <laughs> uh, the final one would be the feedback. Okay, so what did they say for feedback? Uh, let's see. So first, love feedback. Uh, introduce some interaction between smart and dumb enemies. At that point, smart enemies were the names given to ones who could move and dumb were stationary. Uh, we decided to make the snakes be defeated if they collided to eat spike traps, as this would counteract their following ability. Uh, the user is made to learn this mechanic to progress from room 3 as it's later used in room 6, and the player learns the mechanics as simply moving forward will result in the snake hitting the user. Yeah, just like that. Uh, although there was the alternate option of having the snake hit the spikes as confirmed event further away from the user, we felt that could be missed due to a few people in playtests getting focused focused on the immediate danger to the player and not noticing the snake somewhere else. Okay. So that's definitely a so good that, point. So that works. So what were they trying to achieve by doing that? Sorry, they wanted to increase 
what, decrease the interaction or what was the actual uh, original feedback they had? So the original feedback, I guess, is introduce some interaction between smart and dumb enemies. And right. dumb enemies were the stationary. So in this case, the that would be the spikes. So, I mean, I think they've they've done that. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure it has a huge effect though, because you, because of the way the snakes work. Like here, for example, I, I have no options. Right, I can't try and escape them. The only thing I can do is lure them up here, right? Because mm. they just zoom straight towards me, and they don't go round anything. They don't avoid any obstacles. Um. So I, I think they've added an element in, but perhaps they haven't made the most of that interaction, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know? um, also, it feels like you, you might have had the opportunity to have them interact in other ways. So, for example, if they interacted with the frogs, um, then maybe, you know, so for, maybe they kill the frogs. Right? Yeah, eat, eat the frog or something. Eat the frog. Then, then maybe you get, that's where you can get some agency into the game, some of those choices we talked about. Because I could, I could choose which frog to eat with a snake, and then I have to still go off and get the snake to be killed on a spike, right? Um, so I think I think they they've picked that up idea up, but they haven't necessarily run fully with it. Um, so that yeah, feels yeah. perhaps more like the good level. Uh, there's um, also two smaller feedbacks sure. from the playtest. So they said the issue with the ability to kill snakes. So in room. Th it was not clear that the snakes could be killed uh, by leading them to the spikes so they added the blood marks to the spikes and the okay. issue with the frogs were in this level uh, you know they changed the color so yep. a user would know do they go up yep. or down or left or right so that feels like the same sort of level to me that they've they've implemented the feedback and it's it's worked pretty well um, so uh, yeah. yeah yeah changes have been successful and addressed yeah, yeah. I like that. It's good. And my kids loved it. So that's the important thing, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, right. Let's, uh, I, I think that's the, the, the last one for this video. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you again in the next video.